Greetings YouTube and good evening. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, create a Hackintosh using the Gigabyte uh, GAG31MS2L motherboard. It goes without saying the method will be different depending on the motherboard you're using uh, on occasion, even if you're simply using a different build version of um, a given motherboard. Um, this is actually why I put off doing my Hackintosh tutorial for so long, because uh, there are so many different motherboards and so many methods involved. And realistically, I can only show you how to create a Hackintosh with one particular board. So we'll start off with the basics, which will be necessary for pretty much all Hackintosh installations, and work from there. Um, you're going to need a copy of Snow Leopard. Um, yes, that means you've got to buy it. Uh, spending money. Um, I would highly recommend that you do not buy the original 10.6.0 installation DVD. Um, I tried that, and the result was constant kernel panics. There is some issue with the original build, so try to avoid it at all costs. Um, I recommend 10.6.3, that seems to be the best release so far. Now because I originally bought Snow Leopard, I went and I downloaded the pre-updated retail version 10.6.3 DMG file, and that's what we're going to be working on today. You're also going to need the My Hack installation file, which you'll find down there in the description. Finally, I highly recommend that you have two memory sticks, each 8GB in size. The first one to install Snow Leopard 2, the uh, DMG file. The second one to transfer any update files or text files over to the computer, should your built-in network hardware not be functional. Finally, I suppose I should say that I'm technically not legally allowed to uh, advocate the creation of Hackintoshes. Um, while I'm doing this particular video for educational purposes, uh, the EULA does say that you can't install OS X on any non-Apple branded hardware. So to get around that snag, I just stuck one of the official Apple stickers that Apple give you with their official hardware on my PC case. I know, it doesn't count. But at the end of the day, I bought the software, so I'll decide which computer I install it on. Thank you very much, Apple. Alrighty, for my particular method, you will need either a real Mac, if you have access to one, any Mac at all, it could be a G5, it doesn't matter, or you will need a virtual machine Mac in VMware or a virtual box or something similar. In this circumstance, I do have a real Mac, so we'll just plug that in there. Get in there. Okay. Hi. Right. You'll need three files My Hack Installer, Voodoo HDA, and DSDT Auto Patcher. Um, you will find those three linked in the description down there. And um, Mac OS 10.6.3. That will have to come from your own DVD, as you can see my DVD is right there. Or you would have to download it, assuming you own the original DVD. So here we have the flash drive which I just connected. Um, we're going to go into uh, disk utility here. Uh, come on, hurry up. Clock's ticking. It's all those darned hard drives, they take an hour to start up. Okay, um, so select your flash drive right here. Make sure you click the drive and not the partition. Um, make sure in, you're in the partition tab in here on the drive itself. Then we'll go to partition scheme, choose one partition, and under options, make sure you check GUID partition table. Hit OK, and we'll title the new partition flash drive set the format to Mac OS Extended Journals, and then hit Apply. Click Partition, and your drive will be partitioned. Now that our drive has been partitioned, click the partition, go under Restore, and we'll drag our Mac OS X Snow Leopard 10.6.3 into the source, and we'll drag Flash Drive into the destination. Make sure you uncheck Erase Destination, then hit Restore. If all goes well, your Mac OS Snow Leopard 10.6.3 DMG has now been restored to your USB flash drive. So we'll close Disk Utility now, then we'll go to My Hack Install, click Continue, 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 click Agree, then click Change Install Destination. Make absolutely sure you select your flash drive. If you install this on the Macintosh HD, be it of a real Mac or a virtual Mac, you will not be able to boot from that drive until you remove MyHack, so please be very careful about that. So with your drive selected, click Continue, 
click customize now for my particular motherboard that being the GAG31MS2L we're going to check graphics enabler uncheck graphic disabler uncheck evo reboot leave Elliott Force Legacy RTC checked leave no CPU power management checked and whatever you do do not accidentally leave sleep enabler checked make sure you uncheck sleep enabler if you fail to do this then unfortunately you'll find yourself going through all this again later when you receive a kernel panic on boot so hit install enter your password and click OK at this point you have your first flash drive with both my hack installed and snow leopard your PC can now boot this drive and use it to install OS 10 but first we're going to grab the DSDT auto patcher and voodoo HDA files as well as the my hack install and drag and drop them onto your flash drive root these will all be necessary later okay the transfer has completed close finder and remove that USB drive okay now connect your second USB drive on our second drive here which does in fact have the same partition name you will need to place the Mac OS update 10.6.5 and 10.6.6 .6. don't worry about these other files they're just my own uh, transfers but once you have those two key files right there we can continue to start off insert the USB flash drive into your PC and power the computer on once it boots you'll be presented with the my hack startup screen allow it to auto boot from the USB key you'll then end up with an Apple screen and then the installation screen to start off wait until the menu loads then go up into utilities and click disk utility within disk utility ensure your hard drive is selected then click the partition tab under volume scheme select one partition open the options menu then ensure GUID partition table is selected click OK set the format to Mac OS extended journal and name the drive Macintosh HD click the apply button and then click partition your hard disk has now been partitioned click the disk utility menu option then click quit click continue then agree select your hard drive once more and click customize uncheck printer support then check Rosetta and click OK. Then click install. Installation will now begin and I'll pause the video. Now that the installation has completed, press the restart button on your computer. Once the system boots, you'll get the My Hack screen. Press the arrow button on your keyboard and use it to select Macintosh HD and press enter. You'll get the usual white Apple screen. followed, of course, by the Apple startup video. My graphics card here is my old 4870 from the Mac Pro. It's already a Mac card, so there will be no text and installation necessary. Your card, of course, may vary. Having reached the welcome screen, I'm going to pause this video, enter all required information and get right back to you. Finally, having reached the desktop, we can see that our graphics and Ethernet hardware are both working. The only exception being our sound card, which we will fix very shortly. First off, we're going to install the MyHack bootloader, so that our PC can boot on its own without the USB drive connected. We will then proceed to install system updates 10.6.5 and 10.6.6, .6, followed by fixing the audio hardware driver. To install the bootloader, double click your flash drive from the desktop. Then run the MyHack installer. Click continue, 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 then I agree. Leave your install location as it is. Then click Customize. 
set everything as it was when you first installed my hack to your USB drive. Then click install. Enter your password. Then click OK. Now that the My Hack bootloader has been installed successfully to your hard drive, pause this video, then insert your USB stick which contains the update files. Install 10.6.5 and 10.6.6 sequentially, then resume the video for further instruction. Now that you're running OS 10.6.6, insert the USB drive to which you copied the Voodoo HDA installer. Run the installer. Click Continue twice. Click Agree. Then click Install. Enter your password and click OK. Once Voodoo HDA is installed, close the application. However, do not restart, as there is one final thing which needs to be installed. From the USB flash drive, double click and open Auto Patcher. Click Open. Select the appropriate motherboard model and manufacturer from the list and click Apply. A new file will be created on your desktop. Open Macintosh HD. Extra, then drag and drop in DSDT. Click Authenticate, enter your password, then click OK. If you are using the motherboard shown here, you now have a complete, fully functional, and stable Hackintosh installation. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you found this useful, and I will see you next time. Live long and prosper.